In this training module, we will discuss the HP DesignJet T7100's embedded web server. The embedded web server is a web server running inside the HP DesignJet T7100. Users can obtain printer information, manage settings and presets, and troubleshoot problems through the embedded web server. It also allows service engineers to retrieve internal information that helps diagnose printer problems. You can access the embedded web server remotely by using an ordinary web browser. In this instance, we're using Internet Explorer. The features and functionality are organized within three tabs. Buttons near the top of each tab's page provides access to online help and supplies reordering. The main tab provides information about the following items. Print jobs and managing the print queue. Supply status paper and ink usage and accounting, and Pantone emulation. The Setup tab includes options to complete these tasks. Define printer, network, and security settings. Send accounting reports and notifications of warnings and errors through email. Update the HP DesignJet T7100's firmware. Upload paper presets. Set the date and time. The Support tab contains options to complete these functions. Use the Embedded Web Server Print Quality Troubleshooting Wizard to help resolve some of the most common print quality issues. Browse helpful information from a variety of sources. Access the HP DesignJet links for technical support with your printer, driver, and accessories. Access service support pages that show current and historical data on the usage of your printer. And last but not least, troubleshoot image quality. Now we will navigate through the main tab. On the main tab, you can check the job queue. The job queue shows you what jobs have been printed, as well as what jobs are waiting to be printed. The HP DesignJet T7100 has a hard drive. Due to this hard drive, you can actually store often printed jobs within the printer. You can then come into the embedded web server or to the front panel of the printer and reprint those jobs as needed. In addition, the HP DesignJet T7100 PostScript printer allows you to submit jobs through the embedded web server directly to the printer. I can add multiple files including JPEGs, TIFFs, and PDFs, set those up, and hit print. This is a driverless print path. The Status tab shows the HP DesignJet T7100 printer's ink levels, print head health, as well as what media has been loaded. In this example, our ink levels seem to be good. We have on roll number one, HP Universal High Gloss Photo Paper loaded. And you'll notice that many of the ink cartridges, while they say that they are out of warranty, this does not preclude you from utilizing them. You can also check on the printhead health of the HP DesignJet T7100. And last but not least, you can also check on the health of the maintenance cartridge. In this instance, the HP maintenance cartridge is 40% full. The HP part numbers to replace these products are listed here and here. It has two areas that can be useful, the usage and accounting area. The usage area shows exactly how much media and ink have been utilized in the HP DesignJet T7100. This could be useful when trying to determine the actual usage of the printer the accounting area is very handy. This actually allows you to see very quickly how much each print job costs. To set this up, you first start with a cost assignment tab. You enter the information in regards to how much you pay for the ink and the size of the ink cartridges that you're utilizing. You will also need to add media cost. We click the Add Paper Cost, choose the type of media that we're going to be utilizing, enter the, amount, the width of the media as well as the length and the cost. Press Apply and now that paper profile for cost usage is now saved. Every time you print on coded paper, the HP DesignJet T7100 Embed Web Server will assign a cost to that print. And the last section under the main tab is the HP Professional Pantone Emulation section. 
When you use a named Pantone color in an image, your application will normally send to the printer a CMYK or RGB approximation to that color. But the application does not take the printer or the paper type into account. It merely produces a generic approximation of the Pantone color, which will look different on different printers and on different papers. HP Professional Pantone Emulation can do a much better job by taking into account the characteristics of the printer and the paper type you are using. The, the results look as similar to the original Pantone colors as is possible on a given printer using a given paper type. This, this technology is designed to produce emulations similar to those set up manually by pre-press professionals. To use the HP Professional Pantone emulation, all you have to do is turn it on. In fact, it is normally on by default. In the Windows Postscript Driver dialog, go to the Color tab and select HP Professional Pantone emulation. Or if you're utilizing a Mac, go to the Mac OS Print dialog, go to Color Options, and select HP Professional Pantone emulation. You can also use the embedded web server to print a swatch book showing emulations of Pantone colors as made by your printer. Together with the measure of color difference, delta E, between each emulation and the original Pantone spot color. So HP Professional Pantone emulation not only provides the closest match that can be achieved on your printer, it also gives clear information on how close the emulation is to the original spot color. For more information, look at the HP DesignJet T7100 User Guide on page 103. The Setup tab is usually utilized by the IT manager or the manager of the printer. On this tab, you can see that there are numerous areas that can be updated and changed. We recommend that you utilize the HP User Manual to look into each one of these sections and alter information as needed. The support tab is useful for customers that are having image quality issues and they're looking for resolution. You can click on most common issues which include banding, graininess, poor line quality, and color inaccuracy. The support tab gives you real life examples and then gives you step-by-step -step directions on how to overcome those issues. It will also show you how to optimize the print quality. Again, from the embedded web server, we can do this automatically just by pressing start. You can access the HP DesignJet T7100's user manual from the browse information area as well as the web server guide and accessibility information. From the HP DesignJet links page, you can log on for technical support, download drivers, look at accessory options, as well as additional solutions that will support the HP DesignJet T7100. The service support section will allow an HP service provider to access printer information as well as look at the extended diagnostics package which includes all kinds of useful data that the HP DesignJet T7100 saves in its hard drive. One additional area that we want to cover in this module is paper management. Many times, the media profile may not be available on the HP DesignJet T7100. There are new medias being created on a monthly basis by HP and third-party providers. It is extremely important that the media profile that you choose when loading the media matches the media type. You will go to the HP website, download the media profile, browse to that media profile, and then hit update. It's just that simple. And this concludes the HP DesignJet T7100 Embedded Web Server Training Module.